I like to play basketball. Life for Sabrina Philippek Dawn is full. Yoga and usually, usually, uh, usually the gym. Come on, Bray. Stand up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At 30 years old, she is also a power lifter. Sabrina has had an autism diagnosis since she was, what, about five? And according to Philippic Dawn's family, she has fought through a lot in her life. Already, she was one of our early patients um, after we opened the clinic. And they credit UPMC doctor Mylinda Massard for where she is today. The journey to get here, though, Philippic Dawn's parents say started when suddenly something changed. Towards the end of 2015, she woke up one day and was just not herself at all. She'd always been pretty mellow, pretty calm, liked to sleep in, and she woke us up early in the morning kind of screaming and yelling, and her face was pale and her eyes were glassy, and this was not like her. She was somebody who, in the entirety of her life, no exaggeration at all, had never had a temper tantrum. Now, Philippic Dawn barely got out of bed. It was tough. Um, it was, you know, feeling bad for her. No answers, no idea what was going on. Her parents say she went to specialists, had a slew of tests, and still no answers. So Sabrina's result came back um, with a spelling change in a gene that's named HNRNPU. Until this, Dr. Massart ordered whole exome sequencing, complete genetic testing offered at the primary care level. Her clinic, UPMC Precision Medicine here in Pittsburgh, is leading the way for this testing. I'm just scraping the inside of your cheeks, which is getting any kind of loose cells off. Just a few swabs sent to the lab to become routine at PCPs. Working with Dr. Massar has, has been really, really, really significantly like good. For Philippic Dawn, after years of searching, this test finally gave her answers for those debilitating symptoms. I think we just do better as humans knowing answers, um, even if sometimes those answers are really, really hard. In Philippic Dawn's case, there is no cure, but there is comfort. A little bit of relief, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can't remember the exact words, but Sabrina said something like, oh my gosh, now I have an answer. And more could come from these same results. We have that data throughout her lifetime, so anytime you know, a new symptom presents, we can go back to the data and query based on her new symptoms. For PhD geneticist Erica Drycorn, being able to offer this full genetic testing at a PCP is not only incredibly important for families here in Pittsburgh, it's rewarding too. They are such a sweet family and to be able to give them answers and then to then tell their story and make it widely known is, is really great and we're so happy that we could do that for them. For Philippic Dawn, getting these answers meant everything and Dr. Massart has earned a special place too. And I'm fortunate that, you know, that she's that she's, that she's like right there to know what I need, when I need it. And Dr. Massart clearly feels the same about her. Philippic Dawn is the patient she wrote about in her case study about complete genetic testing at the primary care level and what it offers to so many living without answers. And Philippic Dawn is published now too. She wrote The Patient Perspective. Her family says this test has given them the answers they needed but also so much more. Hope, there's direction somewhere, you know, to lead us to hopefully finding answers, more answers and getting you better, to have a better quality of life. And Philippic Dawn's parents say they also hope that speaking out pushes other clinics to offer the same genetic testing that brought their family some peace. It would be amazing if genetic testing was available to a much larger audience. You know, for instance, the genetic variant that Sabrina has, right now it's said to be rare, but if there was more testing, would it really be rare? If you'd like to take a look at the study and read Sabrina's perspective, we have that and information on the Precision Medicine Clinic at WTAE.com. 
Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.